Well, hi guys, it's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. What we're going to do today, flavor twisters, we are going to deep fry some whiting fish. And you can see I have the whiting on the plate here. It was frozen whiting fillets and I defrosted them. And what I did, I cleaned them. Um, I washed them off real good and I checked them for bones because sometimes you might have one or two little scragglers in there and I made sure there wasn't any scales on them. Um, now in front of me, I have a half a cup of cornmeal, yellow cornmeal. I have a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Well, this is the onion, that's the garlic. It's darker, you can tell the garlic. And I have um, two teaspoons of Old Bay. I have a teaspoon of sea salt, two teaspoons of black pepper. And also, I have some um, Hooters, it's for wings. Um, it's a breeding mix. Um, and it also has, you could use it for shrimp or fish, but this is a really good seasoning, guys. It's light and your stuff comes out really good. Now down here, I have um, about a cup and a half of flour. I have two eggs. And I have the Hooters um, breading mix over here also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going in the flour, I'm going to put the onion powder. Let me move this over so you can see it real good. I'm going to put the onion powder in the um, flour. The garlic powder. And I'm going to put in the Old Bay. The black pepper and the salt so what I'm gonna do guys is give this a mix so we're gonna mix this up really good when I do this type of fish I like to season my flour I don't like to put it directly on the fish so you can do you whichever way whatever process you want to use you can do that okay now, we got the flour mixed, and also, I'm going to um, take this half a cup of cornmeal, let me move this out the way, okay, and I'm going to mix it in with the Hooters. I don't like um, a lot of cornmeal in my fish but I want some because it can be real gritty if you just use cornmeal only so I mixed it in with the um, Hooters breading mix and it will come out really good now this Hooters breading mix it's seasoned but it's real light it's not salty or anything you I always if I just use this I always add more salt to it okay now Let's get the eggs together, and then we're going to bread our fish. Now, what I'm going to do is just, I have two eggs here, and I'm just going to beat these. Don't need a lot. Two is good. I just always put two just to make sure I have enough, because I hate to run out with just one egg in there. Okay. So, now we're going to batter our fish get that all breaded and then we'll deep fry it okay now i have the three stations here first we're going to dip it in the flour then we're going to dip it in the egg and then we're going to dip it in the breading mix over here okay guys i have my oil preheating and we're going to start to batter our fish so what I'm going to do is put it in the flour first. Make sure it's well coated and mix it down in there. I can do two pieces at a time and that'll make it faster. I'm not trying to have an hour video here just to fry some fish. Okay. Now. 
We have that. Now what I'm going to do is put it in the egg. I haven't had whiting in so long. I just love whiting. I know when I used to go to the clubs when I was younger and stuff, and they would have fish fries, and this is the type of fish they would have, and it was so good. Now, there we go. Turn it over in the egg. Yeah, see, one egg wouldn't have did it. That's why I put two in here. Here we go. Now, after it comes out the egg, we're going to put it in this breading mix. Let it drip off. And we're going to put it in the breading mix. Okay. Here we go. This is some really good fish, guys. Now, let me move this so you can see it. The process. Yeah, I got gloves on because it'll get messy. <laughs> All right. And push it down in there. Make sure it gets well coated. Okay. That's good. Now, put it over here on the plate. And it's ready for the fryer. And what I'm going to do, guy, I'm just going to use my Dutch oven for the frying because this is only um, four pieces of fish. And that deep fryer I have, it's like a double capacity deep fryer. So it takes like a big 64 ounce bottle of oil just to fry, you know, put some frying in there, get it frying. So... I said, I'm not using that. Cause not for four pieces of fish. Okay, get our last two. What I'm going to do is test our oil to see if that's ready. And we'll be ready to deep fry our fish. Yes, we will. Okay, here we go. All right, be right back. Okay guys, I'm over here where my Dutch oven is and the um, oil's heating. So the test of oil is take a little bit of the flour and you want it to sizzle a little. It's not at the sizzle point yet. And that's how you'll know when it's hot enough. Okay guys, I think our oil is hot enough. So I'm going to start adding our fish. Put them, I'm only going to put two in there at a time. Oh yeah, here you go. I don't want to crowd my um, Dutch oven, so two at a time is good. Now we'll let these fry until they get nice and golden brown. Okay, they're frying nicely, guys. And I move them around just a little bit, yet yeah, they're not sticking to the bottom or anything, so that's good. So let's let them cook until they're nice and golden brown, and we'll put the other ones in. Look at this, guys. Doesn't they look beautiful? Mmm, yum. I can't wait to eat these babies. Okay, guys, our fish is nice and golden brown, and I'm going to take them out. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, isn't it? And I have a rack over here with some paper towels up under it so the fish can drain. Ooh. All right. Now I'm going to throw the other two in and we'll see the end result of this. Okay. And I just made some coleslaw um, um, yesterday, and I wanted it to get nice and chilled and everything. So I'm going to have that today with my fish. Yes, I am. Okay. I'll be putting the coleslaw video up after I finish this fish. 
Okay, so let this fry, guys. We're good to go. And I wanted to show you guys, I just have my sheet pan and I put some paper towels on it. And I have this wrap in the fish so that way the oil will drain on the paper towel bundle and the fish will stay nice and crisp. Okay guys, I'm gonna take the rest of our fish out. Here we go. Look how nice and beautiful that looks. And I'm gonna put it over here on the rack and let them drain like I did the other ones. Move them over. These are pretty big too. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Here we go. Come on, fish, be clean. Okay. Here we go, guys. So our fish is ready. Okay, guys, look at this fish. And it's crispy. You hear it. Beautiful. You gotta make the, you some of this fish, guys. And like I said, I haven't had whiting in so long. Let me see how it looks on the inside. Oh yeah. Come on, get over here. Look at that, guys. Nice and white and fluffy inside. Mmm. And this seasoning is so good. You could taste the cornmeal, but it's not real gritty. That's why I mix some in with that other breading. Delicious, you could taste the old bay, everything. And let me show you something, guys. This is the cold slaw that I made last night. I put, the, it's in the editor. I will be uploading this. It was made with red cabbage and regular cabbage. And look at this, guys. Look how nice and creamy this is. And I mean to tell you, it's delicious. So, I have my hot sauce here. And I'm going to tear this cold slaw up and this fish. Mm, mm, mm. You have to try both these recipes, guys. It's delicious. So, make this for your family, guys. I think they're going to love it. This fish is so nice and crispy. It's delicious. And nice and soft and fluffy on the inside. So, you can see, look at this. Look at the meat just coming out. Mm. So, to all my flavor twisters, go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you'll be alerted of all the recipes I upload. So this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.